So, you're in a pretty good place, right? With steps 1 to 5 of the 7 simple steps to improve your financial health now complete, you've got a budget, fully funded your emergency savings, had your 401k contributions matched by your employer, and paid down your outstanding debt. Now you're wondering what to do with any extra money you might have. The good news is that it's an awesome problem you've got, but make sure you don't squander this opportunity. It's time for step 6, save for long-term investments and retirement. Re-examine your budget and determine a fixed amount you can stash away each month without cramping your lifestyle too much. The easiest thing is to save an automatic amount from your paycheck before you ever touch it. That way you aren't tempted to mess up your saving plan. But you want to do better than the measly 0.2% return your bank is giving you, don't you? If you want to have a substantial amount of money to pay for your dream home, your wedding, and your retirement, you need to start thinking about a long-term investment portfolio. Now's a great time to start some serious research online, and you can check out our video collection at Finlit TV to begin, or talk with an investment advisor to learn about your investment options. Essentially, there are a bunch of different places where you can put your money based on your risk appetite, goals, and overall interest in investing. The key is to have a plan in place for long-term investments and retirement. One of the most powerful tools you have at your disposal is compound interest. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill. The earlier you start saving, the bigger the end result will be, often by a huge amount. We've barely scratched the surface of what you need to know. Check out our ever-expanding Flick library to get more details on how you can begin developing an investment and retirement portfolio that's right for you. And stay tuned.